don't come for run daily only once a week or once in 2 weeks but today i'm digitally documenting my day so it's happening now so we are done with our morning workout there is an app which is called as nike run club i use this app on daily basis here is the app i did a track of 2.8 kilometers and i covered it in 27 minutes and my average pace was 9 minutes and 37 seconds and i burned around 220 calories so what all of the information this app automatically show at the end of your workout now let's get to the home build take a quick shower eat breakfast and rush to the hospital some day i will leave you when i've had enough of your beauty Okay so yeah let's think what we have to do today I have to take a complete history and do the relevant examination on at least one or two patients because our exams are almost in two weeks and I am formally dressed today because in our exams we have to dress formally as well so it will be a mock test kind of day for me next i have to cover the complete cardiovascular and central nervous system for my exams all the bedside technique history taking points viva questions i have to prepare all of those system completely apparently our med school final exams are on campus whole of our education throughout the year were online on different lecture slides but they are taking the professional exam on campus amid the covid-19 so we have to prepare for the on campus exam that's why i'm going to the hospital to take the history to familiarize myself for the exam so yeah let's get to the hospital Okay so I have reached the hospital let's get to the medicine classroom and prepare the case Okay, so I have reviewed the bedside techniques. Now I will go to the ward and will take a history of patient or two. So let's do it. Okay, so I have taken the complete history of patient. It was a case of stroke. Let me explain to you what is history and how we do it. Basically history is the first thing you do when a patient present to you in the hospital so when the patient present i asked him what made him came to the hospital what are his presenting complaints there are mostly one or two presenting complaints which made the patient come to the hospital like for my patient it was left sided body weakness complete left sided body weakness then next i take the complete history of presenting illness like the left sided body weakness started when uh, my patient had like 5 days before the attack of left sided body weakness uh, happened to that patient so i write uh, in the history of presenting illness that 5 days ago my patient had that attack of left sided body weakness and altered state of consciousness then uh, there were other symptoms or not like the patient had fever or not the patient vomit or not the patient has nausea or not 
all of these things I ask the questions to the patient and his relative and I note them in the history of journey unless after that I will do a systemic review that are there any other disease the patient has uh, and rule out all other systems there for system as you know central nervous system gastrointestinal system cardiovascular system and respiratory system so the patient has a disease from central nervous system because the stroke is a disease of central nervous system so i rule out or he doesn't have any cardiovascular problem gid problem respiratory problems after that i took some personal history like his habits he is a smoker non smoker where he live uh, what is the socio economic status of the patient because we have to treat the patient according to their status we have to subscribe uh, those medication the patient can afford if we subscribe uh, a medication to the patient he can't afford so there is no point of treating that patient after taking the history of the patient i did an examination on the patient in examination i mostly did the motor examination because in central nervous system disease the motor system is the main system that gets affected so i checked the power on the left side of the body that there is a complete loss of power or there is partial loss of power if there is a complete loss of power then it is hemiplegia or if there is partial loss of power then it is hemiparesis these are terms for the loss of power we use so i checked the reflexes and power i checked first tone of the muscle power of the muscle then i did some reflex check from my hammer let me show you so this is basically the tendon hammer uh, we check deep tendon reflexes uh, knee reflex ankle reflex from this we hit the knee or ankle tendon with the help of this hammer and if there is some power left in the body then we see a uh, deep tendon reflex on these two joints but there were no reflexes present when i did the examination so it was a complete hemiplegia not hemiparesis so yeah at final year medical student level our job is to just take the complete history of the patient do the examination give him some moral support uh, empathize with the patient give him informational care that how the procedure of treatment will going to happen to the patient uh, how long will it take to recover from this disease all of that stuff the patient is already going through the treatment he has been given anticoagulants to dissolve that clot his ct scan and mri is under procedure after that the doctors will devise a complete strategy plan for the treatment of the patient but uh, at finally a medical student level our job is just to take the complete history and do the examination i think i'm feeling a bit hungry now i think i should go to the cafe and eat something after that i have to revise the central nervous system and cardiovascular system in the library too so yeah let's eat something so why you acting like a fool ah uh, uh. try my best to get you ah uh. sometimes i feel that you're just cruel ah uh. ooh, ooh 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 could you give me a sign or maybe write me a letter i just want to get closer to feel the heat of your sweat but why why can you just fall in love you are what i'm looking for So the outside activity in the hospital is done. Let's get back to home again. I know what I'm looking for. Okay guys, I am home now. I have changed the clothes from the formal one to my cozy ones, the black pajama and the t-shirt. Now I am going to edit a YouTube video on which I am working for the past couple of days. It's about me explaining the medical school like what subjects you study in your first year second year third year and fourth year of mbbs and upon that i have added some amazing animations in this video let me show you family you probably have no idea what medicine is all about what is the course outline and what 27 subjects you are going to read over the course of 5 years did you see that isn't it cool no seriously no okay okay you got me this 
Now is the hard part of the day. I have finished the edit. There are some effects still left, but I'll do it some other day. Then I ate some pasta and wings because I was feeling a bit hungry. And now I am feeling a bit lazy because I ate that. There is still a study session left for me to do because CNS is not completed yet. Uh, I did cover that, but there are still some topics left which I have to do it. And I don't feel like studying at the moment. But if I didn't do it today, then the syllabus will pile up tomorrow. I have to cover gastrointestinal system. So today is the last day to cover central nervous system before the professional exam. So I am just procrastinating a bit, and then I will start studying. So yeah, let's do it. Keep it spicy, that's a fat fact We on the right track, yeah Driving me wild, giddy up like a stallion Saddle up and ride It's almost 8.30 pm in the night and I'm done with my study session Now I'll just eat the dinner and watch Cosmos season which I am watching these days And I highly recommend this season if you are into science, evolution and history kind of stuff One benefit of living in your own house as I'm a day scholar so I came to home on daily basis is that I don't have to prepare my own food on daily basis. Food is already prepared in the house. I just have to go to the kitchen, bring the food in my room on the table and ate it along the way while watching Cosmos. So biryani is one of my favorite dishes. A little ASMR in the video. Oh my god! Yeah. Hey friends, see what I just discovered. I am currently watching Cosmos season 2 and episode 4. It is called as Baby Love. Uh, you may be heard of the name Baby Love before. It's in second year of biology where he conduct an experiment of conditioning on dogs where they salivate on special stimuli. So in this episode, they completely document the process of Mendel's law, genetics and how they came into existence. And in this episode, they inform us that Mendel got rejected two times from medical school. And in these times, every medical student, every doctor, every student who studied biology at some point in their life know the name of Mendel, who was Mendel who conducted experiments on the peak and who introduced the world to the laws of inheritance. So you never know how the life will unfold for you. This is the best part about Cosmos. Uh, that's why I watch Cosmos and it is one of my favorite season of all time. This episode reminds me of my FSC pre-medical days at Government College University when I was going to take my MCAT. I used to pray to God that please God grant me admission in any medical college of Lahore. And now I am just two weeks away from being a doctor. It's so amazing and feeling of gratitude I am having when I look back at all of this journey. If any matriculation or FSC student is watching this video, do check out Cosmos. It will be amazing for you. I wish I had watched this season when I was in my matriculation or FSC. They tell all about Darwin, Darwin's theories, Vavilov. Mendel's, all the scientists, even Newton and all of the people who made discoveries and uh, engraved their name in the history of science and physics, chemistry, biology, technology in general. They document and tell you history about all of those scientists and all of those people who ever came to this world. So it's really amazing, it's really educational and it's really enjoyable at the same time. Okay guys, so let's call it a day here. Hope you had a good time having a sneak peek in my day in the life. I will try to make more videos like this when I'll be a doctor. Hope you get something out of it and learn something new. If you did, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.